It is, and we are starting with a young German athlete, Jaden Eichermann, just 16 years old. And he begins with an inward three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.2 degree of difficulty here. Well, it's a good start for this young German diver, very new on the team. So imagine Patrick Housding, who isn't in this event, who's been in every other event, is 32, and this young man is 16. So it just goes to show there. We have a 32-year-old diving later on. We do, actually, yeah. Konstantin Popolici of Romania is 32 years old. He looks young for 16 there, doesn't he, Jaden? He does. 7.5 to count. A very solid start for the teenager from Germany. Now, Vinko Peradzic of Sweden. We've seen him in action at this European Championships, uh, but ended up bottom of the standings in the one-metre final. Here he is, nine metres higher up. 28-year-old <laughs> from Sweden opening up with an inward three-and-a-half somersaults in tuck. 3.2 degree of difficulty. Well, I think he's a little more comfortable nine metres up, because on the one metre he was, well, a little bit here and there, but up on the mighty ten metre tower, he seems to well, be a little bit more comfortable. It doesn't really sound like it should be true, does it, Kat, in that high up? And what are the judges diving. looking for from those entries in sure. particular? Yeah, well, as you see there, Vinko getting in vertically with hardly any splash, and that's why the judges are throwing eights and 8.5s at him. That was a fantastic dive from our Swede. Riccardo Giovannini of Italy, just 18 years old, already with a silver to his name at this European Championships in the team event, which was the first event right at the beginning on Monday. Here he is on Sunday. He's had a long wait to get his individual competition started. Reverse two and a half somersaults in tuck. Well, it's a lower degree of difficulty. Only two and a half somersaults. This is reverse. Jumping away from the diving board, spinning backwards towards it. Two and a half reverse in the tuck position. So he could do with pointing his toes and his boots on all the way through there, which the judges won't be that impressed with. And a little bit of an over-rotation. So 7.5s multiplied by the degree of difficulty gives him 63 for our young 18-year-old Italian. And Vladimir Harachunyan of Armenia, 20 years old. We saw him and his partner come fourth in the 10-metre synchro last night. So good performance from Armenia. A bit rough and ready, but... They somehow managed to pull off each dive. Inward three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.2 degree of difficulty. Well, it looks a little tired. Last night he was on fire, and this evening, just not quite getting that zippy takeoff that he needed. Finishing low to the water and not quite completing the dive with enough drop to get that vertical splashless entry. Six, five and a half, OK. First of our Ukrainians. Yes, this is Ole Serbin, 19 years old, and uh, won a silver at the last Europeans in 2019 from the 10-metre synchro with Alexei Sereda, the defending champion in this event. His countrymen starting off with an inward three and a half somersaults in tuck. It's the same dive, compare like for like. Yes, somehow ended up with a bit of a, a quarter, not quite a quarter twist on the entry into the water. So right at the bottom of his dive here, he somehow can't quite see it from that angle, but he definitely twisted as he went in. Not sure what caused it, but if the judges have spotted that as well, then, yeah, so one judge does five, 5.5s, yeah. So not quite sure what caused that. Yeah, not such a good start then no. for the young Ukrainian. 
Here is Timo Bartel of Germany, won the bronze in that 10-meter synchro competition last night with the great Patrick Housding. This is a punchy opening dive at 3.6 degree of difficulty. Yeah, he's going out all guns blazing, isn't he? Arm stand back, double somersault, two and a half twists, 3.6, playing his ace. Oh, and it is ace two. So he's definitely too tall to be a platform diver, Timo. <laughs> so he looks great in the air. It's a long way round when you're a tall athlete. And when I say tall, he's probably, I don't know, 180 in centimetres, 5 foot 11. He can be 6 foot, actually, which is incredibly tall for a diver. That degree of difficulty has yeah, helped 82. him out there, hasn't so he's it? He's straight into the lead, and he will probably be there or thereabouts with that. Now, Noah Williams of Great Britain, five-time European medalist, already silver to his name at this European Championships in the mixed synchro with Andreas Spendolini Syriex. Feels a long time ago, doesn't it? And the same dive for him, arm stand back, double somersault, two and a half twists. Come on, Noah. Yes! Lovely! <laughs> what a start from Noah Williams! Yeah, excellent work there from Noah. Popping up off his hands, staying good balance. Two and a half twist, recheck, drills the entry. That's even better than Timo's, so we will see Noah at the top of the leaderboard. Quick stop the competition, 91.8. <laughs> Not wow. until we've seen Tom Daly. I know, I know. Not until we've seen Tom Daly. But brilliant start from Great Britain's Noah Williams. Could we have two medalists in this men's 10-metre final? A long way to go. Six dives per competitor, remember. And this is Konstantin Popovici of Romania, 32 years old. The oldest in the competition, starting with an arm stand back, double somersault, just one and a half twists, so slightly lower degree of difficulty here, 3.2. Still a lot of dive. <laughs> yeah, good clean entry into the water. He's been around on the scene, competing at this level for a long, long time. And he's been on the planet for exactly twice the length of time of our next competitor as we go on to Sereda of Ukraine. So 32-year-old Konstantin completes and up on the 10-meter. High quality so far in this men's 10-meter platform. Yeah, there he is, 15 years old, Alexei Sereda, the defending champion. What a remarkable title he won in 2019. The youngest ever European champion, just pipping Tom Daly by three months. He was 13 years and seven months. Tom Daly, 13 years and 10 months when he won his first. Inward three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.2 degree of difficulty. Oh, he is so neat, isn't he? I it? was wondering how he was going to show up to defend his title. He didn't look so hot in the synchro last night. No, they ended up fifth, didn't they, the they Ukrainians did, last but night? But that is nines, 9.5s coming Sereda's way. And it's just starting to bubble up nicely, and we're not even in one round. Oh, you've got a couple of tens. Oh, no, they were the first tens we've seen in this entire championship. Alexi Sereda, the defending champion, what an opening dive from him. They'll be chasing him for the rest of the competition. Viktor Minibayev then, the 2014 champion, 29 years old, a five-time synchro world medalist, 16-time European medalist. It's five of those he's won in this event, the 10-metre individual. Inward three and a half somersaults in tuck. It's the same dive for the Russian.
Oh, it's a better start than Serena. He finishes higher, but he isn't as clean into the water. So if Serena got 10s and 9.5s, then Mini Baev will come away with 9s because just a little bit of splash, as you can see, appearing. Fine margins. Fine margins. This is still a terrific effort. Yeah, he's got nines and eights and a half. And that means that uh, Victor Milibayev slots in behind the defending champion, Alexei Sereda. Now, Alexander Bondar as well. He's won this title twice in 2013 and 2018. A 2019 world bronze to his name as well, opening with the same dive. Inward three and a half somersaults in tuck. It's like for like and toe to toe. Oh, Bondar giving it his best shot as well. Now, again, his takeoff is better than everyone's. He is double by, he gets to board level, pikes out with, like, so much drop time, not as clean into the water as Serena, so we're not going to see tens. I think it's better than Schlake, um, not Schlakers, um, uh, Mini Baevs. Nine and a half. Oh, he could, yeah. Ah, there is a ten well, it's in right, there. But yeah. that's right, because it's not as good as Serena's, but it is better from a takeoff. Wow. This is high quality. Come on, Tom Daly. Yes, Great Britain's Tom Daly, then the three-time European champion, the Olympic bronze medalist in 2012 from this height. Of course, remember, in 2016, individual heartbreak for Tom. He's working to put it right in Tokyo in 68 days' time. Starting off here with a reverse three-and-a-half somersaults in tuck. 3.4 degree of difficulty for Great Britain's Tom Daly. Oh, it's outstanding. Has he left it just a fraction short of vertical? So I can't pin tens on him for that one. That's nines, maybe a 9.5 if the judges are feeling, feeling generous. Just a little slower spinning than he's used to. Fraction short vertical, keeping the splash down. Oh, well done. If your name's Tom Daly, maybe you can sneak a 10. Slightly short on reverse three and a half. Into the lead, Tom Daly. That's what we want to see this Saturday night. Let's look at the standings. Tom Daly just out in front. Alexi Serena, the defending champion in silver. And Noah Williams, what an opening dive from him to pip the Russians out of the medals for now. This is going to be such an exciting final. <laughs> but Tom Daly has done what he needed to do in that opening dive. One step closer to double gold at this European Championships. And that, Leon, is only round one. It is. OK, so now we can calm down. Well, if you want to, I certainly need to. Let the competition build up again. This is a high quality field, as we've already seen. Five dives to go. Five dives to go and uh, back to the top of the start list. Forward, four and a half somersaults in tuck. This is massive for 16-year-old Jaden Eichermann of Germany. 3.7 degree of difficulty. So it's a long way round, isn't it? Forward, four and a half from this young German. He pops up nicely into it, squeezes into his tuck shape. He has enough time to complete this dive, just doesn't quite have the confidence on the way out. Hits the water, slightly crimped, so uh, bent over. Yeah, not straightened out into, into the entry. Leaves him with those satisfactory average marks. And Vinko Paradzic with his uh, exotic tattoos down that left arm. Down in seventh at the moment. Arm stand back, double somersault, two and a half twists. 3.6 degree of difficulty, so impressive to watch them going up into arm stand, teetering on the edge <laughs> of this 10 meter platform. Meters above the surface of the water that, and level with the spectators who have been allowed in. The fellow divers come to see this final event of the European Championships. Hervinko just letting it, uh, well, faltering on the takeoff, 
He doesn't get enough height. I know it's difficult to jump off your hands, but that's exactly what's required here. And he just doesn't have enough time to really complete the dive with any grace or finesse. So it's a bit scrappy, but he does get away with sevens. Which helps with the high degree of difficulty. Now back down to a lower degree of difficulty. Yes, it's 3.0 degree of difficulty here for Italy's Riccardo Giovannini. Forward three and a half somersaults in Pike. I mean, it's pretty ordinary. It's a uh, very accessible dive, forward three and a half in the pike position. Early on in his career. So I'm sure he'll be working on the forward four and a half, which is the dive of choice in this group. All divers need to do six dives in all different directions, covering all six groups of dive, including what we've already seen so far, the arm stand group. Vladimir Harachunyan of Armenia just down in 11th at the moment. So that's second from the bottom of the stack. Inward three and a half somersaults, sorry, forward three and a half somersaults in Pike. It's the same dive. Using a towel at the end of the diving board there, as we saw Eden Chung slip in this particular dive in the synchronized event with Lois Tolson. So the towel on the end isn't a comfort thing, it's a grip thing. So be careful you don't bunch it up as you come legging it into the end there. And Ole Serbin of uh, Ukraine had uh, a bit of trouble with his first effort. He did. Down in uh, 12th of 12. Back three and a half somersaults in tuck. 3.3 degree of difficulty for the Ukrainian. Over he goes. Over he goes. Surfboard moment. As our 19 year old from Ukraine is going okay, just kicks out way too late, and there's nothing you can do. When your feet are pointing up towards the ceiling and you've still got drop time, there's only one way you're going. And that's over onto your belly. Ouch. Ouch on the marks. Probably didn't get himself. In too much difficulty there by way of pain. Timo Bartel, and Timo Bartel of Germany ended up ninth in the one meter. And bronze in the 10 meter synchro last night. Inward three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.2. Oh, comes out of that really confidently. Impressive, this about, uh, the second German diver. That's a cool angle, so you can see how much time he has when he pikes out feet pointing up towards the ceiling. Nice, considering he's six foot tall. Nines coming his way, 8.5s to count. Of course, the lines that go through the marks do not count. That's the averaging out that goes on. Over to you, Noah. Yes, Noah Williams, what an opening dive from him in the bronze medal position at the moment. And a big one coming up, back three and a half somersaults in Pike, 3.6 degree of difficulty. It's a tricky one for Noah. Mm -hmm. It is. He Still needs goes. this if he's going to keep up with the very best in Europe. Didn't go so well for him this morning. Oh, he's done a good job. 
Jade's kind of like, oh. She's saying yeah. it could be better. Yeah. Hard to please, of course. Looking for perfection. Just turns into Banana Man a little bit on his way out. It's a good takeoff. Squeezing the pipe shape in and then just goes loose in his back there a little bit. If he'd have stayed with his form, he'd have been looking at eight and 8.5s. Instead, he comes away with sevens. Yeah, well done, that, Noah. that could see him slipping out of the medals for this round, but of course, a long way to go. This is just round two of six. And Konstantin Popovici of Romania with a back three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.4 degree of difficulty. Quite nervous. Toes twitching. Yeah, toes, hands, fingers. Here we go. Oh, he doesn't like it. I can tell by his tentative kick out. That's reverse three and a half in the tuck position. And after a long wait on the diving board, he eventually leaps up and he's into it. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. He just doesn't. I can see he can't really spot though. He's got his eyes looking up to the top of his skull. He's kind of guessing a little bit on his way out, but he does a reasonable job on his guess and comes away unscathed. He looks relieved to have yeah. got that out of the way. <laughs> I am as well. Now, Alexi Sereda, the defending champion, 15 years old. And he was just 5.8 points behind Tom Daly at the top of the standing. Sereda in silver, Tom Daly in the gold medal position for now. 3.7 degree of difficulty, forward four and a half. Oh. See you later, Sereda. What an absolute shame. He opened up the defense of his title with tens and he backs it up with fours. But what he has done over these last few years, apart from growing about six inches, he has upgraded his list. And this is the upgrade, higher degree of difficulty, higher risk, and it hasn't paid off for him. It must be very difficult when you're a young athlete, your yes. body's changing, mm -hmm. particularly, particularly something like diving, where it's about spin speeds and, you know, the action happens in just a split second. So Viktor Minibayev of Russia, he's just out of it at the moment, a little bit off the pace, but don't discount well, this man. Reverse three and a half now. somersaults in tuck, 3.4 degree of difficulty for the Russian 29-year-old. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, as expected, Mini Baev hasn't grown six inches in the past year. As he's 29 years old, he's relying on his experience, his exceptional amount of potential talent and all the hard work that he's done over the years, culminating in that 1.5 second effort right there. 9999, I would imagine, or something along those lines. Let's see if those judges agree, Leon. Yeah, a couple of tens in there, not yeah, to count. Yeah, just the nines to count. 93.5, huge from Mini Baev. Bondar, same dive. Same dive for Alexander Bondar, just in fourth position, just behind Noah Williams of Great Britain after round one, but only by 1.4 of a point, so very tight at the top of the standings. Bondar with the same. Reverse three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.4 degree of difficulty. Oh, even better from Bondar. <laughs> well, pick the bones out of that. Strong takeoff. Could be tighter in his tuck shape, but this entry even though I don't particularly like the way he exits the dive, you cannot fault that entry into the water. Watch this, even on slow motion, you will not see enough splash to fill a teacup. Perfect. 98.6, is that what Tom scored? It is. 
Yeah, that's the same score as Tom Daly's opening effort, so he needs to keep it perfect. Well, he does. This is a lower degree of difficulty, but Bondar has also done a lower degree of difficulty already in round one, so this will even it out. Come on, Tom. Got to keep up, Tom. Inward three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.2 for the two-time world champion, three-time European champion to remain at the top of the standings. Oh! oh. You can see from the splash that went up there that that was not as good as it needed to be for Tom Daly. No, all good, all good, all good. Misses his hands. So as he's lined up there, his arms just haven't stayed in the correct position. His hands have drifted in front of his nose, and you can see that's a bash on the top of the head. Empty in the pool. He scored nines on that in prelim, and now he has some work to do. Yeah, let's look at the standings then. Tom Daly down to fifth, but it is tight between him and Noah Williams holding on to that bronze medal position. Brilliant work from Noah ticking along, but the Russians, Bondar and Minibayev, well, they have leapt up into the gold and silver medal positions after round two. So what does Tom do now, Leon? How does he go away and recover from that? Well, there's nothing you can do about it. Most important dive is the next dive. And let's see. Still four dives to go. Still four dives to go, but such high quality so far in this men's 10-metre individual final. The final event of the European Diving Championships, the action happening in Budapest. Leon Taylor and I in the commentary box here in Salford. Thanks for joining us on BBC Two this evening as we head into the third round of dives here. Back three and a half somersaults in tuck. 3.3 degree of difficulty for Jaden Eichmann, the German teenager. Well, that's a great effort from our German, kicking things off in round three. 3.3 degree of difficulty, so it's a slightly lower degree of difficulty compared to the same dive in the piked position, which is 3.6. So it needed to be good, and eight and a half is a very good indeed from Jaden. Speaking of back three and a half in the piked position, we're going to get a look at it now. So Vinko kindly showing us the difference between a 3.3 and a 3.6. Same group of dive. So standing backwards, spinning backwards. So this is challenging because you can't see where you're going. You can only see where you've been. does well, plays his cards completely right, knows that he hasn't quite got the height or the spin speed, but he waits and waits and waits, times his exit perfectly, pointing his toes directly up towards the 10 metre. Yeah, seven and a half is good. 81 points. Yes, see, He's not, not of approval, a wink to us. Happy. Yeah, and enjoying it, which is good to see. Riccardo Giovannini of Italy with an inward three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.2 degree of difficulty. Well, it ended up OK in the end, just as he came around, seems to lose form in his tuck position. He's got his feet flat, it's like he's wearing welly boots, and then his legs are slightly out of line, aren't they? I'm not sure whether he was... One of his hands was slipping. He's got a heavily strapped left hand, which isn't unusual for platform divers to be taped up in wrists and elbows and forearms and triceps and everything else, pretty much. <laughs> it's a long way down, isn't it? Yeah. Vladimir Harashunyan of Armenia. Not sure how this one's going to go. He's down in 11th 
And this a back three and a half. This is his toughest dive. Yep. 3.6 degree of difficulty. He has another 3.6 to finish with. Yeah, that's okay for him. This one is a uh, roll of the dice. He's okay, as he's okay, didn't hurt himself, but he flipped quite far over. So he doesn't quite get the finish on his jump. His knees are crimped, so the judges don't get to see the replay, but they will notice that because it was quite obvious. And the reason he's got his knees slightly bent is because it means you spin a bit quicker, and it's a long, long way round, and then he overcooks it anyway. But I've seen him land in some very awkward positions on that dive, so I'm pleased that that didn't happen this evening. He's through it unscathed. Unscathed. Ole Serbin of uh, Ukraine just ticking along at the bottom of things at the moment, down in 12th of 12. Reverse three and a half somersaults in tuck. 3.4 degree of difficulty. Just not really finding his way into this contest at all. It's a really strong takeoff. He's not messing around there. His legs are way too wide, though. He's using his uh, uh, kneecaps as earrings. His legs are pulled so, part, uh, so far apart to the side. It's a strong look. <laughs> Timo Bartel, he's been diving nicely. He has. This is uh, a big one uh, for him. High risk. Forward four and a half somersaults in tuck. It's 3.7 degree of difficulty. So if you're looking purely at the difficulty rating, this is his toughest. It is. Currently just outside the medals in fourth and above Great Britain's Tom Daly. For now. For now. Oh, well done, Timo, well done. Really tall into the end of the diving board there. So temptation is to tip forwards, but he pops it up really nicely. Double by board level. He's got a cowboy tuck going on there, but manages to be precise on the end of his dive. Entering the water vertically, rolling in nicely, keeping the majority of the splashdown, sneaking 7.5s. Very good, Timo. Now, Noah Williams, uh, what a fantastic start to this uh, men's 10-metre final for him. Currently in the bronze medal position. A 10-point cushion between him and the two Russians at the top of the standings. Just three points, though, between him and Tom Daly, who's down in fifth. So Noah needs to keep the quality up. Inward three and a half somersaults in tuck. 3.2 degree of difficulty slightly lower so that was his easiest dive and it was good all the way just he needed that trademark rip entry on the bottom so just not quite sure he locks out okay but doesn't keep the splash down how frustrating can't make uh, the reason why that was five I don't know what that judge is watching unfair, yeah it's it? obviously wiping his glasses or her glasses at the time, not really watching. <laughs> that means that uh, Noah Williams just drops a spot and will slot in behind Germany's Timo Bartel. For now, Konstantin Popovici of Romania with a back three and a half somersaults in Pike. 3.6, his toughest dive. Biggest challenge for the 32-year-old Romanian. He might take his time on this one as well, Kat. A little bit of fidget. Nervous preparation for what could be. Oh, I thought he had that going on then. The spin speed was good. Takeoff was strong. He just isn't so confident on where he is in the air. Let it go a little bit too early. A little ambitious on his uh, exit from the dive. It was kick out, as it's known. Six and a half, six and a half, six and a half, four and a half, six and a half. Oh, 
just number four is having a field day. As in, like, being quite harsh. <laughs> Speaking now, of Alexi harsh. Serena, I know, a mistake in the previous round, and he is down in ninth, the defending champion. 15 years old. Back three and a half somersaults in tuck. 3.3 degree of difficulty for the 2019 winner. Looks a bit more like it. Yes, definitely. Has to pick himself up now after terrible second man dive. Gets out a little bit early. Doesn't quite keep all the splash from jumping back at the water. Eight, eight and a half. Eight's is much better, of course. Quite a lot to do to get back near the medals. Whereas Victor Minibayev is very much in the medals. Yeah, just currently locked in a bit of a tussle with his countryman Alexander Bondar, who dives next. Just one point separates the two Russians at the top of the standings. Minibayev with an arm stand back, double somersault, two and a half twists, 3.6 degree of difficulty. And as I say, just one point off the gold medal position. He can do this dive as well, as in this is a strong dive for him, usually. <laughs> the pressure firmly on Bondar and then Tom Daly. Well, it's OK. Well, he's too far away from the diving board, so that causes the drift. And when I'm talking about drift, as he enters the water, he goes from vertical to over, 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 over. You can just see drifting lower part of his body and that's because the takeoff wasn't executed well enough i mean look he still gets eights and that's still huge 84.6 but it isn't a 99 or anything like that so bondar now a tricky dive has the opportunity sorry Kat. yeah he has a bit more breathing space now doesn't he at the top of the standings alexander bondar Our current mm. leader arm this. stand back triple somersault in pike mm. 3.5 there's a lot of dive as well. Well, this is the business end of the table, isn't it? It is. It's what we want to see. Indeed. Ooh, Ooh. A little bit of a wobble. Are you nervous, Alexander? Oh, sneaky Bondar. That's really short of vertical, but somehow he's having a wobble on the top, but on the bottom of his dive, somehow manages to absolutely drill his entry when he's short of vertical. How he does that, he's a magician. Trickery. Trickery. So the, oh, nine's a bit generous. Eight is about right, but that entry was very, very special. So that is a lead opened up now of over 16 points for Alexander Bondar. What can Tom Daly do to get himself back into this? Down in fifth after the second round. Forward three and a half somersaults, one twist in pike, 3.6 degree of difficulty. Tom Daly needs to pick it up, needs to pick up the pace to keep up with the Russians. Tom, he had trouble with that in the prelim. You could probably hear me holding my breath as he came into the end. You could hear Tom holding his yeah, breath when he I'm came not into surprised. the end. Pops up into the takeoff, out into the twist. This is sometimes affectionately known as the firework. It's not quite fireworks, but it is passable. Out into the twist, just losing a bit of form there, Tom, as he enters the water, feet split. Seven and a half, eight. It's OK, 82 is OK, he's back in the medals, but Bondar has got himself out in front by quite a margin. Yeah, 32 points ahead of Tom Daly now, Alexander Bondar, Victor Minibayev as well in the self, but Tom Daly bounces back from fifth. 
up into the bronze medal position. Noah Williams slips down to fill that fifth spot vacated by Tom Daly. So all change after round three. So we're halfway through the contest now into the business end of this men's 10 metre platform final. And Jaden Eichmann, 16 year old from Germany, down in seventh. Reverse three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.4 for him. Well, I'm impressed by this young man, just 16, holding it together from a composure point of view in this European final. He just made it through, so there's no pressure on him. He's just slotting them in, one after the other. Paradzic of Sweden in sixth. He's sticking along nicely after a bit of a struggle in the one meter earlier this week. Reverse three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.4 degree of difficulty. Happy with his third round dive, wasn't he? But he won't be very happy or as pleased, certainly, with this effort. Takeoff's okay, just out a little bit too early. He does have his arms a little closer to his body as he makes his way towards the water, reaching back above his head. Oh, costly, a lot of form lost in his body. <laughs> That was more of a grimace than a smile. Riccardo Giovannini, arms stand back. Riccardo Giovannini, the young Italian, 18. Arm stand back, triple somersault in tuck. 3.3 degree of difficulty. Yowch. Wowza. Yowch. In 11th, an arm stand back, double somersaults, two and a half twists, 3.6 degree of difficulty. It's a complicated dive, this one. He's going for them, though, isn't he? <laughs> he is. This is uh, equal highest degree of difficulty. Excuse me, will I hold my breath on this one as well? Oh, nicely done. He seems to just pull them off. No. They come out of nowhere. <laughs> no, nicely done. He does a bit more of a lean and fall on this dive, but he manages to control it very well. And that will earn him yeah, nearly 70 points because of the higher degree of difficulty. Turbin's not having a great day. Certainly the first three lines have been very ordinary for him. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Forward three and a half somersaults in Pike for the Ukrainian. 
Well, that's a bit more like it. It is his easiest dive. So just making his way back into a bit more comfort now in this contest. Touch of an over rotation. Clean entry. Seven, seven and a half, yep. This is where it gets interesting. So Timo. Timo Bartel, the German, just outside the medals in fourth, behind Tom Daly, who's in the bronze medal position for now after three rounds of dives. A back three and a half somersaults in pike, 3.6 degree of difficulty for Timo Bartel to turn the screw on Tom Daly. Oh, my word. Well, you teed that up nicely, Kat, and I'm uh, astounded that it was it's that good. I don't think I've seen him perform that dive that well before. Wow. That is excellent diving. Nines, nines, 97.2. Rightly so. Wow. Right, Noah Williams. Reverse three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.4 degree of difficulty. He slipped down to fifth from bronze after the last round, but he is just 10 points off Tom in the bronze medal position, so not out of it yet. Oh, well done, Noah, just bringing his feet with him as he enters the water. So the takeoff is really strong. Kicks out, I think, at the right time, just as he pulls his chest open, his feet come tipping over with him. Maybe he needed to be at a fraction earlier. So maybe slipping behind now, Noah, with that over-rotation. Yeah, sevens to count there. Konstantin Popovich. Konstantin Popovich in eighth before we get into the tussle of the top four. A forward three and a half somersaults in pike, 3.0 degree of difficulty for the Romanian diver. Well, a little underwhelming, that's uh, his easiest dive, just 3.0. If you're going to play it safe, you want at least eights and nines, and unfortunately he's out a little early, entering the water short. You can see the splash being thrown back towards the diving board, sevens, and only 67.5. Now, I was talking about the tussle of the top four, but uh, it's the top four from qualification, mm. not in this final, because Alexis Serrano, the defending champion, 15-year-old, the youngest ever European champion, has uh, not performed to the best of his ability so far in this final. An arm stand back double somersault, two and a half twists, 3.6 degree of difficulty. He is down in ninth at the moment, and given the quality of the diving we've seen so far, a medal looks pretty much out of the question. Yeah, I mean, this is another dive that he's uh, increased the degree of difficulty on since he was crowned European champion. So it's neat and tidy, but it is short of vertical, just not getting the rotational speed that he needs. And Sereda is continuing to slip and slip. This guy has let uh, his countryman Alexander Bondar slip a little bit ahead of him as well. A 16-point cushion now opened up between Bondar and Minibayev at the top of the standings. Minibayev in silver, a back three and a half somersaults in pike. 3.6 degree of difficulty to close the gap a little. Well, Minipayev is, well, he's rocking it. 
Oh, this is such a good contest. Really hotting up. Nibayev just allowing that to tip over slightly. You'll be annoyed that that's not more than eight. Still an amazing effort. And here's our current leader then, Alexander Bondar of Russia. 16 points ahead of Minibayev in silver, 32 points ahead of Great Britain's Tom Daly, who's currently in the bronze medal position and dives next. Back three and a half somersaults in pike, 3.6 degree of difficulty. Oh, it's precision work from Bondar. He's not blinked yet, has no, he? No, he hasn't blinked. He's quite happy in this pressure cooker. And, of course, Bondar and Minibaya paired up in the synchro just to be beaten by Tom Daly and Matty Lee. And Bondar is... Well, he's phenomenal, isn't he? Look at him. In 93, he's running away with it a little bit. Yeah, Tom Daly has all the chasing to do. He is in the bronze medal position for now, having worked his way back up from fifth after round two. An arm stand back triple somersault in pike, 3.5 degree of difficulty. It's going to be tough for Tom to chase down Bondar at the top of the standings. It's 32 points ahead, and that last dive was brilliant. What has Tom got in his locker? <laughs> oh, it's magnificent. Glorious <laughs> oh, diving from well done, Tom, Tom Daly. Well done. That is such a powerful takeoff. Stays in tight to the diving board. And there he goes into the water disappearing maybe tiny little bit of splash being thrown up and also a micro over twist but we won't talk about that too much nine, nine there oh, you go look, there's tens in there for tom brilliant tom daly responds under pressure and he is back in the mix look at that he's closed the gap on Minibayev to just three points Tom Daly still in bronze but much closer to the Russians in gold and silver Noah Williams remains in fifth two rounds left to go what can Tom do it's getting very exciting indeed thanks for sharing your Saturday night with us here on BBC two at the European diving championships the action coming live for you from Budapest as we head into the penultimate round of dives in this men's 10 meter individual final. Tom Daly going for his second gold of this championships, having won the three meter synchro, uh, 10 meter synchro, I apologize, with Matty Lee last night. So it is Jaden Eichermann, the 16 year old from Germany, a back arm stand triple somersault in tuck, 3.3 degree of difficulty to get us underway. He gets us underway in OK fashion for this penultimate round. Takeoff is good. Just kicks out the dive a little bit too late and can't stop the over rotation. You can see a little bit annoyed with himself. Now, this is a funky dive from the 10 meter. Funky dive from a funky diver. Yeah. He's thoroughly enjoying himself in this final. Vinko Paradzic of Sweden, winking at the camera, jigging around on the platform. It's what we like to see. Reverse <laughs> of one and a half somersaults, three and a half twists, 3.4 degree yeah, difficulty. I wouldn't fancy this one myself, and there's divers out there that know how difficult it is to do even off a springboard. I wouldn't fancy a reverse twister on 10. Well, watch this one then. I will. Oh, I like it. I like <laughs> it a lot. I don't fancy it myself in the slightest. But Vinko, he does a good job. Really strong. His twist just beautiful. This is my favourite uh, component of his diving. Just a great twister. <laughs> Be good in the ice skating. We'd have him, Robin Cousins and I. Okay. 
Beautiful. Now Riccardo Giovanni of Italy down in 12th after a bit of a crash in round four. Looking to build back with a back three and a half somersaults in tuck. Just 3.3 degree of difficulty, so he's got some easier dives to finish off with. It's going to be a tough task for him. He doesn't quite figure that one out either. He's got some uh, technical corrections to make here. As you can see on the takeoff, he has his head lifted too much. And it just doesn't make for pretty viewing. And he's out of control. Well, he doesn't have the precision and the control to stop the dive and put that entry in. Vladimir Harutunian, rough and ready Armenian. He's been pulling off his dives with a bit of jiggery pokery this evening. <laughs> Reverse three and a half somersaults in tuck. It's a 3.4 degree of difficulty. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it! Well, no, time because, after time. because I was just uh, silent then on my comms, which, as you know, is unusual for me. I was mainly looking gormlessly at the TV because I couldn't believe that Vladimir just buried that dive, and that was spectacular. <laughs> Love it. I'm looking forward to seeing where he ends up. Ole Serbin of uh, Ukraine has uh, picked himself off the very bottom and moved up into 11th. After four, arm stand back, double somersault, one and a half twists, 3.2 degree of difficulty for the young Ukrainian, 19 years old. Already with a silver medal in the synchro at this championships. Well, he's having an average day at the office, isn't he? Way back off the pace. His fourth round dive was a little bit better. And that one also showing a little bit of promise but being outclassed this evening. Whereas Timo is a class act this evening. He is. He's been diving brilliantly, the German, 25-year-old, in fourth, just three points away from Tom Daly, who's in the bronze medal position for now. Reverse three and a half somersaults in tuck. Oh, the first mistake we've seen from Timo Bartel from Germany. This is the reverse three and a half. He gives it some serious beans on the start and then kicks out a little bit too late. If you're going to finish that high, then you need to be ready for that. So he tips over into sevens, 6.5. It's the first mistake we've seen. Big dive for Noah. Yeah, Noah Williams finds himself in fifth. Forward four and a half somersaults in tuck. 3.7 degree of difficulty. Yes, Noah, very good. Well done. Just ducking his chin in a little bit on the entry into the water. And he gets a good, strong takeoff. This is a hell of a long way round. Rolling under the water to keep the splash down. It's a shame he didn't keep his chin up a little bit more because he'd been laughing all the way to the bank with nines. Instead, he leaves with 7.5s and an eight. Still very good on that dive. Yeah, the gulf, though, opening up between the top three and the rest of the field. The top three being the two Russians, Minibayev and Bondar, and Tom Daly, who's in bronze medal position for now. Let's take a look at Konstantin Popovici of Romania. Inward three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.2 degree of difficulty. 32 years old, the oldest competitor in this 10-metre final.
And he does like a, uh, a twitch at the top, doesn't he? His fingers are going like he's playing the piano. Oh, look. <laughs> Do -do -do. Anyway, eventually when he takes off, it's OK. Biking out with such flair. Toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Just doesn't quite have enough rotation to make it round, to back it up with a superb entry. Alexi Serrady, we were hoping for some uh, fireworks again from him. The 15-year-old, the defending champion from 2019. But he's been a little off colour. Reverse three and a half somersaults in tuck, 3.4 degree of difficulty. Well, that's a little uh, reminder of what Serrady is capable of. He is fractionally short of vertical. But it's a good, good dive. He sadly will not be defending his title this evening. And he's diving out this final for the lesser places. Now, Victor Minibayev with his forward four and a half somersaults in tuck. He's in silver medal position for now, but only three points ahead of Tom Daly in the bronze. Fantastic diving from Tom Daly to bounce back from fifth. What's Minibai have got in response? Oh, he's got a pretty good and strongly worded response <laughs> to here you go, boys. And when he says boys, that's Bondar and Daly. Here's my effort on a front four and a half. I know you've got yours coming up. So here's the marker. I put mine down for 94.35. What have you boys got? Well, we'll have to see, won't we? This is our leader, Alexander Bondar. The forward four and a half himself. Yeah. 3.7 degree of difficulty. Two-time European champion and a 2019 world bronze medalist. Oh, there the fireworks right there. So Bondar, an even strongly worded reply to his teammate going, listen, whatever you can do, I can do better. And he can, my goodness me. So that is going to be close to 100 points, if not 100 points, well, 99.9. .9. There you go. There is your answer. Wow. That is nines across the board. And that is pressure time for Tom Daly. He's got the same dive to do. So where are you at today then, Tom? It's kind of been pressure time for Tom Daly right the way through after he slipped down to fifth after the second round. He's worked his way up into bronze, three points behind Minibayev. But you just saw some absolute stonking diving from the Russian pair. Tom has to match them point for point. Oh, he's giving it a good go, hasn't he? Just, it's, that's not quite as good as Bondar's, but it is a superb, superb front four and a half. Much better than he did in the synchro last night. Just about keeping that splash down. He's pretty much equal. Oh, look at that. Oh, my word, it is. 109.15, it's better than Bondar. Well, yeah, OK, well, we'll take it. I love that it's better than Bondar's. Uh, look at that, Tom Daly moves himself up into the silver medal. He is clawing his way back, he is going through the gears. Great Britain's Tom Daly, he leapfrogs Viktor Minibayev and uh, is just tucked in there behind Alexander Bondar of Russia. Great Britain's Noah Wilson, Noah Williams, <laughs> holds on to fifth spot. What? So if we get a chance to talk to Tom in the Drama. studio, Kat, I'll ask him to see whether he thinks his front four and a half is worth tens, but we'll take it. We will take it. Tom Daly, what have you got? He has to make up 16.65 now on Alexander Bondar at the top of the standings. This is monster scores that I'm looking at with the dive to go from Bondar particularly. I'm getting out the calculator. OK, it's getting serious now, viewers. Jade and Eichmann to finish with the back two and a half somersaults, two and a half twists. Now, I've been impressed by this young German just about making it into the final, but he's stepped up a gear and he's got a big list of dives. 
Still some capacity in there. As you can see, he's quite a slight athlete. So he's still got some growing and strengthening and improvements to make, but he is the next generation because surely Patrick Housding will have to retire at some stage. No, no. They're going to stuff him and push get, him yeah. off the platform. <laughs> Taxidermy. <laughs> now, Vinko Paradzic, the 28 year old Swede. We've enjoyed seeing him in this final. We have. Plenty of personality, plenty of colour. That left arm tattooed. He's got an owl on there. He's got a woman in a wolf's head. I'll have to ask him what they all mean. Forward three and a half somersaults in Pike, 3.0 degree of difficulty to finish off. Oh, well, it's a low degree of difficulty to finish on. It's obviously his favourite dive. And he doesn't, oh, he has tons and tons of time. Maybe a little bit too much time. And over rotates for 6.5s. 419, that's still a good score. Yeah, happy? Happy. So, our young Italian bringing up the rear in this uh, men's 10 metre platform final and finishing with a back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists in pike, 3.2 degree of difficulty. Yep, that is a nice dive to complete his six. Has a little bit of trouble spotting on the back spinning and reverse spinning dives. So for our young 18 year old, Riccardo Giovanni from Italy. Oh, just trips over, making his way out of the pool there. Styles it out nicely though. Okay, how, Vladimir. How is our Armenian going to finish with a back two and a half somersaults, two and a half twists in Pike is another big one, 3.6 degree of difficulty. After that top notch reverse three and a half in round five. He's a showman, isn't he? He is a showman. I don't know what he's got left. Oh, well done. It's not as impressive as round five. Doesn't quite straighten his legs on the takeoff. He's a little bit too far away from the diving board. A little bit scrappy. Six, five and a half, uh, as Kat mentioned, 3.6 is a high degree of difficulty. Well done, Vladimir. Okay, where are we? Okay, Serbin. And then we. Then we're halfway through. Yeah, Just six to go in the final. No, uh, cool. Back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists in Pike. For Serbin of Ukraine to finish. Well, that's one of his better efforts this evening. Serbin not really ever getting into this contest. Just diving himself to complete. We'll be looking forward to seeing the back of that 363 is not a particularly high score. And we'll probably see him at the bottom of the pack. Now, Timo Bartel was keeping up with the pace. He was. And uh, he finds himself in fourth. Very respectable diving from the 25 year old German. Back two and a half somersaults, two and a half twists in pike. Oh, he's, he's done an, an excellent job this evening. I am super impressed with Timo Bartel. Wow. I mean, this is a high quality score for a fourth place. 4-9-9-10, not to get a medal. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks, let me tell you. And Noah Williams in fifth, just behind Timo Bartel, finishing off with the same dive, back two and a half somersaults, two and a half twists in Pike. Some really solid diving from Noah in this final. And already, of course, with a silver in the mix synchro to take home. 
Well done, Noah. Well done indeed. That's an amazing finish from Noah into that pike. Just a little over rotation, but that should get eight from the judges. 88, 480, that's a huge score. Well done, Noah. I'm sure what the Olympic selectors will be looking for. See Matty Dixon diving in the World Cup in Tokyo, doing a great job out there, so yeah. Well done, Noah. Konstantin Popovici finishing off with a back two and a half somersaults, one and a half twists. Mm -hmm. Slightly simpler than the two dives we've just seen, just the one and a half twists in Pike, 3.2 degree of difficulty. Nice from Popovici. Just throwing his head back a little bit aggressively there. That is not going to be any good for your neck. Fixes his dives up nicely on the end. Certainly in good shape, isn't he? Sereda, same dive. Yeah, one and a half twists. Yeah, the 3.2 difficulty. The defending champion from 2019 it won't be a repeat for the 15 year old but i tell you when he's on song he is a brilliant prospect for mm -hmm. the future watch out for this young man at future championships there you go that will get nines 9 9.5s it just shows you that dive one where he got uh, tens and dive six where he's going to get, well, I don't know, the judges might get excited and nudge him up towards that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Nine, nine and a half. There you go. So here we go. The yep. battle of the titans. Here we go. Eyes down, everyone. It's the uh, tussle for the medals. Victor Minibayev currently in the bronze medal position. Tom Daly in silver and Alexander Bondar, the two-time European champion, uh, currently in gold. Minibayev, 12 points off Tom in silver, making his final play a back. Two and a half somersaults, two and a half twists in pike, 3.6 degree of difficulty. What's he got? Oh, well, what he's got is of the highest calibre. What a takeoff. There's absolutely no trouble with this dive. It's neat and tidy. Just marginally over rotating. Eight and a half. Eight. 86. Ooh. So that's okay. I mean, if Tom makes a mistake, then he will beat him. But Bondar has got the same dive. And we've just seen Bondar go all the way through doing better than Mini Baev. They're doing the dives in the same order. Same dive. Bondar has a big cushion over Mini Baev as well. And Nearly Tom. 30 points. Back two and a half somersaults, two and a half twists in Pike for the two time champion to make it three. Well, he may have put it out of reach there with that one. How much did he have on Tom? 16.65. Yeah, 16 point. That's too much for Tom to grab uh, to grab back on this last dive. Bondar getting that dive in beautifully. Eight and a half, 91. It's out of reach for Tom. Five, six, four. Five, six, four. Hmm. Yeah, Tom Daly would need 108.45, and he did oh, manage that oh yeah, okay. in the last round. He broke 109, so it is possible for Tom to still clinch six. the What's... gold medal, but a back three and a half somersaults in Pike, 3.6. It needs to be brilliant. Perfect tens. Perfect tens. And the title's his. Is it too much to ask? It is slightly oh. too much to ask. Not today, anyway. So Tom's had a little bit of a mixed bag out there. 
we've seen some brilliant dives for tens and we've seen some slightly under par dives from Tom. It's been a long two, three weeks he's been on the road. That sees him just hang on to the silver, still being able to score 5 3 3 with three dives under par. Look at the final standings then. Tom Daly, what a valiant effort to claw his way back into it. It's a silver medal for him to add to the gold he won last night. Alexander Bondar is the three time European champion, and Victor Minibayev takes bronze. Noah Williams finishes in fifth. Not to be then for Tom Daly, but a fantastic fight back after that mistake in uh, the second round of dives. Hopefully we'll get to speak to Tom later on here on BBC Two, uh, but a fantastic performance and we'll see him get his medal in about 15 minutes time. We'll also hopefully, as I say, hear from him before we leave you at eight o'clock on BBC Two. But it does give us some time to catch up with the final women's event from the European Championships. And that was the women's three-meter synchro, which happened earlier. Grace Reed and...